Yes, good morning. You know, drive by any popular establishment that offers dine-in in southeast Michigan on the weekend, and you're bound to see an overflow of people waiting for a seat to eat. Some Metro Detroiters found that dining out in recent months has often come with a new reality of waiting a bit longer, generally speaking. These parking lots look like Cedar Point parking lots sometimes as far as the restaurants now. So that's another thing about me too. I'm not even trying to be bothered with that. I like to just get what I'm going to get and then I'm out. I mean, latest I had to wait was about 45 minutes, but that was for a freaking cheeseburger. For a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger and some fries. It's frustrating though because sometimes we'll go to a restaurant and then we it's like a 45 minute away and we're hungry so we got to find somewhere else to eat. Now we got to drive to a whole nother place so that's irritating. Metro Detroit patrons speaking from experience. So we caught up with a couple of Metro Detroit restaurants where adequate staffing has been an issue but they're actively working to meet the demand. Alexis Moore, manager of the Maury in Royal Oak, says she's not sure if longer wait times are occurring because of a staffing shortage or because more people just want to have a good time. Our normal wait time is anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes you know, on a late night, uh, just because we're, since we're back to full capacity and everyone is looking for that late night um, entertainment venue and they are ready to get out because they've been stuck inside. Moore says a lot of staff stayed with the establishment during the pandemic, while some sought other opportunities. To attract new employees, she says the Maury created a referral program for existing employees. In the meantime, we have all hands on deck all the days that we're open. Traditionally, restaurants have not paid well. And uh, I think the pandemic was perhaps a wake-up call to, uh, to, to a lot of restaurant workers. Uh, they saw that there are other opportunities uh, outside of the restaurant industry. George Zenos, owner of Estia Greek Street Food, says he's increased wages to competitive rates and has been successful attracting workers so far. But he says he's managed to get ahead of longer wait times. One, he says more people are ordering out instead of dining in. Two, he says his business now uses an app to fulfill takeout orders, streamlining the process. It's the new reality and it's here to stay. Now, Zenos has a location for Estia in Warren. He plans to open a new location in Gross Point, and he also has a location here in Troy. Now, at least one of those lo locations, he says uh, he will have a walk-up kiosk where people can place their orders with without having to interact uh, with uh, an employee at the counter. Live in Troy this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. And